Very well. Moving out. Who shall be the next to fall under battle? I'd love to. If you want, I will join you, Your Grace. Time for some community service. I'll protect you, darling. Able to get up? Not sure. Her own mental fortitude will be the deciding factor. Regardless, it won't be easy. If you think I look haggard, Dorothy is doing far worse than I. I'm going to go out and forage. I realize it's bad timing, but we need materials. I'll go with you. I shall keep watch over Dorothy. Everyone. Dorothy. Are you okay? Hmm? Of course, I'm fine. Huh? I got a message from the Ark. <laughs> Thou does not say this in jest? Of course not. Let's listen to it together. Voice transmission from the Ark. Would you like to listen? Yes, play message. To the Goddess Squad, first and foremost, our deepest condolences for the death of your squad leader, Lilywise. Many of those in the Ark are grieving this great loss. We also thank you for guiding Operation Guardian Ark to its completion. On behalf of all the Ark citizens, I would like to express our gratitude to you for a job well done. We are currently looking into ways to supply additional troops and resources, but there have been numerous delays due to many ongoing issues within the Ark. We apologize for the inconvenience. Due to these unforeseen complications, the operation has been temporarily put on hold. Additional complications have arisen on the surface. Therefore, we must entrust the only remaining forces above the surface, the formidable Goddess Squad, with an additional assignment. Should you resolve these issues, which I will go over in detail momentarily, the Ark will successfully be sealed, and peace will prevail. After you have listened to this message, please come to a decision. Of course, the final decision lies squarely with the acting leader, Dorothy. We humans are eternally grateful for everything you have done for us up until now. We are forever in your debt. So please, do not feel pressured to sway your decision one way or the other. Hmm. Huh. Is that all there is? No, there's more. Play it. Your orders are as follows. One, destroy the Alva Particle Generator in order to disrupt Rapture's ability to communicate with one another. The generator is powerful enough that it can negatively affect systems within the Ark itself, even from such a great distance. It is for this reason that we have been unable to make progress in certain areas with the sealing of the Ark. 2. Annihilate the Rapture hordes in certain designated areas. At these specific coordinates, sealing efforts are being conducted in close proximity to the surface. The loud noises generated by construction 
are likely to be detected by raptures. 3. Destroy the freight elevator. This elevator was originally used to deliver food and other materials to the Ark and will not be used after it is sealed. Given that it provides a direct connection to the Ark, it could potentially be used by raptures. To prevent any potential and disastrous misuse, it must be destroyed at all costs. Uh. Should you choose to accept this mission, you are to start with destroying the Alva Particle Generator. It is the shortest distance from the Ark itself. Once that is destroyed, we will be able to establish direct communication with you. That is all. We await your decision. I do not know if this will be of any influence, but the Ark is anxiously awaiting the return of the Goddess Squad. We will ensure that you are sufficiently rewarded for all the sacrifices you have made. The voice message has ended. There are zero messages left. Uh-huh. So, there's been a problem with sealing the Ark. Let's move. Thou reached a decision most hastily. Are you not coming? Of course I am. What do you think, Dorothy? We have to go. Don't we? Precisely. Let's go. I knew you'd agree. All of us can tackle each of the orders together. What? Even for you, that seems a bit extreme. We'll take turns. No. A leader should always be on the front lines, especially when what lies ahead is unknown. Don't be so stubborn. You haven't even had time to recover properly. My spirits are high. Communication with the Ark has been reached. They didn't forget about us, and they've prepared a grand homecoming for us. We can go to paradise. <laughs> Me neither. I must admit, I am rather looking forward to it myself. I feel like we're on top of the world right now. So we won't sit this one out. <sighs> okay. Wait, you agree with her? I don't see any problem with what she's saying. Not in theory, at least. Who are you pairing up with first? Rapunzel, will you join us? Count me in. Alright, it's settled then. In the meantime, Scarlet and I will scavenge for materials. Affirmative. Everyone ready? Ready. <laughs> Yay gods, what is the rush? I better get going too. Rapunzel! Scarlet! Yes? I think it would be wise not to bring up Pina. Keep a close eye on Dorothy as well. Huh? Why? I'm worried about her, that's why. Okay. We will. Promise? Promise. They are as candles, the better burnt out. I knew you couldn't do it without me! Right? It's our first time coming out this far. Before this, we were restricted to that small area right outside the Ark's entryway. Isn't this exciting? How about we have a little fun? I don't see any problem with it. After all, it's not every day we get to do this kind of thing. It's nice to see you're in such high spirits. Feeling better? Of course. Everything's peachy. Always has been. Alright, well... That puts my mind at ease. We'll be arriving at the Alva Particle Generator area soon. 
Once we get there, even my jamming skills will be hampered. If we encounter any resistance, a confrontation will be unavoidable. Your jamming ability comes from your hair, doesn't it? Yep. Each strand is a small jamming device. I heard that Anike's skills and appearance are the manifestations of whatever they considered ideal when they were a human. What was that for you? <laughs> Easy. To return home unharmed. So that desire sublimated itself into a jamming skill. Kind of sounds like a monkey's paw situation to me. <laughs> Let's hope not. Wouldn't want the other shoe to drop on me. What about you? What was the ultimate for you? Me? Hmm... I'm not sure, I forgot. Come on, don't be like that. I... just wanted to survive. The idea of the raptures taking over seemed so implausible that once it happened, all I wanted was to survive. I don't know what skills that would have given birth to. Well, it seems to have worked at any rate. Huh? You're still alive, aren't you? <laughs> I suppose you're right. We haven't bought the farm just yet. And we're going to keep it that way. All of us. Together in paradise. Do you remember? We promised each other. I remember. Which of you scornful dunderheads dare step forward? You are merely delaying the inevitable. The hour of retribution draws near. Everything flies in the sand. Show them no quarter. Reloading. Fancy a drink? I see the generator. Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be any raptures in the vicinity. Good. Let's smash this thing and get going. With pleasure! Uh, Dorothy! Do you see that? Hmm... Is that... a grave? We can't go there! There are raptures in that area! Who cares? Let's go. There's only a handful of them. I can handle them on my own if I have to. Is there... any way to lure them over in this direction? Are you worried that they'll desecrate the graves? Yes. But if it's too much of a hassle, we don't have to do it. Hmm. That's a good idea. How's that for luring them over? A little over the top, don't you think? Never thought I'd hear you accuse me of that. Here they come! Just stand and watch me work. Can we be real for a sec? You are merely delaying the inevitable. Fleeting as it may be. There's no time to bask in our victory. Let's move on to the next mission.
There must be about 20 of them. <sighs> May I say a prayer before we go? Of course. Rapunzel. Yes? Do you still hear their voices? No. The dead don't speak, remember? Then who are you praying to? To no one. What are you praying for? I... desire nothing. What fulfillment does praying bring you? None. Then why do you do it? Because... I want to hear their voices. Hmm. I thought we settled this before. It's not that, Dorothy. I realized that the voice I was hearing before was my own. But now, I want to really hear their voices. Hmm. Why? To help them find their homes. Homes? Yes. I want them to spend the rest of their time there. In the place where they were most at peace. Especially since their lives must have been so hard near the end. What about you? Is that what you want as well? Of course. But not yet. There is something I must do first. What's that? I've made up my mind. I... What was that? Those were... Ah... Uh, ah... Uh, I see. This is where your memories reside. What just happened? Their memories just came to me. The memories of the departed. You mean... those golden particles? Yes! Are you saying those were their... Their souls, I yes. Or something like it. Hmm. Let's destroy the generator and get out of here. The others are probably waiting for us. Once we do that, we should be able to establish communication with the Ark, right? Most likely. Then let's go. Hmm. What are you doing? We may not be able to move their bodies, but we can at least take their dog tags. We can place them at the graveside, back at the Ark's entrance. <sighs> thank you. <sighs> no, thank you. If you believe in the Creator, you better start praying. Reloading! There's no time to bask in our victory. Let's move on to the next mission. Attempting to connect to live feed with the Ark. Come in. Goddess Squad, this is the Ark. Do you copy? <laughs> Success! This is the Goddess Squad. We can hear you loud and clear. Excellent. We noticed a drastic decrease in particle concentration, so we figured we should try contacting you. I take it you succeeded in destroying the generator? I knew we could count on you. I am Dorothy, the acting leader of the Goddess Squad. And you are? I'm the primary director responsible for the Arc Sealing Project. 
For security purposes, I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to disclose my name. You'll have to excuse me. I have a question for you. How are we going to be treated once the Ark is sealed? As stated in the previous transmission, we are preparing a magnificent reception for you. You have my word. Good. Um, do you by any chance know... how the commander is doing? I assume you're referring to your previous commanding officer? Yes. Is he alive? Can I talk to him? Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't know anything at this point in time. I asked around, but couldn't turn up anything. But how... I'm sorry. No. Thank you anyway. How is everything in the Ark? To be honest, it's a mess. With such a mass migration of people, there are still many kinks left to work out. To say it's chaotic would be an understatement. However, one thing is certain. Everyone is hopeful. Hopeful that we'll soon be living a life where we don't have to be afraid of raptures. Right, that's good. If we finish off the remaining raptures and dismantle the supply elevator, will we be able to join the party? Of course. Okay, I'll give you daily updates from here on out. We'll be seeing you soon. See you soon. Why people the ark has ended. The plan doth seem to have progressed most smoothly. That it does. Let us rest and make our move tomorrow. I shall join you. All right. I don't see Snow White. Is something wrong? Oh, that. She's on the lookout. She's incorrigible. Do not fret. She would let it be known if she were truly fatigued. No, she wouldn't. That's the problem. Forget it. I'm not chasing after her. She'll just talk her way out of it again. <laughs> she is truly a most inveterate individual. Let's head in and rest. That includes you, Scarlet. Very well. Good night. Snow White! Hey, you did well today. How'd Dorothy do? She seemed fine. Whatever it was that was haunting her, it seems she's overcome it. Okay. She's stronger than you think. <sighs> Snow White? Okay, go rest now. You don't want me to take over for you? No. Hey, you don't need to tell me twice. Thanks! <laughs> You're welcome. Maybe I should pop in for a moment before heading to bed. Huh? Dorothy? Oh, hey Rapunzel. Are you not sleeping? I... forgot. You actually did move them all here. Thank you, Dorothy. It was nothing. Rapunzel, I want to make this place a sanctuary for those who have lost their lives. For all those lost souls who perished on the surface with nowhere to go, we can bury them here. We can't bring their bodies, but as long as we bring some trace of them back here, this could become the holiest place on the entire surface, couldn't it? Yes. <laughs> it absolutely could. Seventh Dwarf, ready! Nearly delaying the inevitable. Reloading. This may take more time than I thought. Time 
There's no time to bask in our victory. Let's move on to the next mission. Amazing. Hath the battle truly ended with such haste? They kept talking about how many were here, so I got my hopes up. I must confess they are dashed. Is it just me? Or have you seemed inordinately strong lately? More so than usual. What do you think is different? Perhaps it is because I am cheating. Hm? Cheating? <laughs> Come on, be serious. Let's see, it has been... five years? For five long years, I have done battle with creatures most foul. In the beginning, these skirmishes merely consisted of prototype Nikes against prototype Raptures. However, they both evolved in the blink of an eye. Both were enhanced in order to more effectively kill the other. The most obvious byproduct of this evolution for Nikes was their ability to use firearms. Whereas the Raptures became more capable of snuffing out these gun-toting Nikes. Yet, train thine eyes upon mine visage. I wield this. I see. So you're saying this is far from the norm? Precisely. Those creatures shan't ever evolve enough to send me across the river Styx. For all of them to evolve simply to take down a single Nike who wields a blade would be worth neither the time nor effort. As for me, however, I am evolving. I am becoming more adept at rendering raptures asunder with this sword. Those beasts are stuck treading water, whereas I am darting through it like a torpedo. That is why I am so strong. The raptures must be keeping an eye out for you. <laughs> I am but one lone swordsman. How could I contribute to this war? Don't say that. You're... It's about flipping that thought around. One day, I shall draw this blade across the Queen's throat. That is, if her life is not taken first by someone neither of us knows. The mere thought makes my body quiver with joy. That makes two of us. Hmm. What will you do after? I am unsure. I was born to fight, so my destiny shall be to wield this blade until my dying day. To do what one does best until one shuffles off this mortal coil. Surely such a life is not so bad. Perhaps, but I think I can speak for the others as well, in that we hope you can have another goal in life. Hmm... Well, there is something I've thought about. What's that? Crafting my own alcoholic spirits. Hmm. Don't look at me like I'm some lush worthy of pity. But you are a lush. Huh. Do you remember the seeds I threw aside a few days ago? The ones that ended up sprouting? Yes, I remember. To see new life blooming in the midst of this harsh wasteland was a most shocking revelation to me. There has been much devastation, yet life still breathes within this land. I had forgotten that. Although civilization has collapsed and humanity has disappeared, the land itself is still teeming with life. I know not if we should consider raptures as a form of life, but all we have done is slaughter them indiscriminately. Instead of ending life, I want to create it. That is why I have chosen to become a farmer. A farmer? Yes, a farmer. I want to witness new life being born. I want to see it with my own two eyes. Then turn it into booze. Right, right. <laughs> okay. An existence filled with death and destruction is no life at all. So I... We can start with a small garden. Hmm? Let's make a small garden at the temporary guard post. It's not much, but it'll be a start. 
A fine proposition indeed. We'll start straight away. We've received confirmation that raptures have been terminated. There is only one objective remaining, which is to destroy the freight elevator. Also, I must inform you that the sealing date for the Ark has been delayed for an additional three weeks. I presume the delays are due to all of these issues on the surface. That is correct. I'm sorry, but can you handle three more weeks where you are? We will send supplies to your next objective, the freight elevator. It will be a full month's supply. Will you be able to get by in the meantime? We'll make it work. With how things are, waiting another three weeks will not be a major issue. All right, thank you. I will send the supplies immediately. After you receive the shipment, destroy the elevator. Roger. Will communication stay up afterwards? Of course. Okay. I will contact you once the work is done. I'll be waiting. Communication ended. Additional supplies. Does that mean we don't need to go out scrounging for our own supplies? We can concentrate more on guarding this area. To be honest, though, there haven't been that many raids lately. We should move out pronto. Where's Snow White? She's off scavenging. Should be back soon. Here I am. Welcome back! Did you find anything? I caught a deer. Again? Do you have something against deer? Tis most unfortunate that none amongst us knows how to skin this ungulate properly. Hmm. Dorothy. Yes? Skin this deer for me, will you? Will do. Huh? You know how to skin that thing, Dorothy? Of course I do. How hard can it be? All you've got to do is follow the proper steps. Go ahead. That should do it. <laughs> that wasn't as hard as I thought it'd be. Incredible. Teach me next time. I'm... Not... feeling well. <sighs> Let's smoke it and preserve it. I'll leave that to you, Scarlet. Very well. Can we take some of the meat and roast it as well? Shouldn't be a problem. Then let's go, Dorothy. All right. Oh, right. Snow White. What is it? Thank you for helping me out before. Don't mention it. I simply did what I had to. Did you sleep after that? No. If you keep doing that... Don't worry about me. I'll never lose touch with my humanity. Mm. Dorothy! Yeah? <sighs> What's wrong? Why are you looking at us like that? Dorothy. Yes? Why do you keep saying, us? Hmm? You're the only one here. What are you seeing? I don't know what you're saying. Forgive me, but I asked Rapunzel and Scarlet to keep tabs on you. They informed me that it was sometimes difficult to carry on a conversation with you. They said it was as if you were speaking to someone else. Huh? That's obviously... Is Pina with you now? Yes. She's been here the whole time. My spirits are high. Communication with the Ark has been reached. They didn't forget about us, and they've prepared a grand homecoming for us. We can go to paradise. The Ark! How exciting! I doubt I'll be able to get any sleep tonight. <laughs> Me neither. I must admit, I am rather looking forward to it myself. It's our first time coming out this far. 
Before, we were restricted to that small area right outside the Ark's entryway. Isn't this exciting? Super exciting. It's great being able to venture out this far. How about we have a little fun? Is that okay? The other will be waiting. I don't see any problem with it. After all, it's not every day we get to do this kind of thing. It's nice to see you're in such high spirits. We are still alive and breathing. And we're going to keep it that way. All of us, together in paradise. Do you remember? We promised each other. Yes, I remember, Dorothy. I remember. Is that... a grave? We can't go there. There are raptures in that area. Who cares? Let's go. There's only a handful of them. I can handle them on my own if I have to. Is there any way to lure them over in this direction? Are you worried that they'll desecrate the graves? Yes. But if it's too much of a hassle, we don't have to do it. Fire your gun off into the air. Hmm, that's a good idea. How's that for luring them over? A little over the top, don't you think? Never thought I'd hear you accuse me of that. Not exactly subtle, but effective. It's coming! Here they come. Just stand and watch me work. I don't see Snow White. Is something wrong? Oh, that. She's on the lookout. She's incorrigible. Do not fret. She would let it be known if she was truly fatigued. No, she wouldn't. That's the problem. Are you going to go looking for her? Forget it. I'm not chasing after her. She'll just talk her way out of it again. <laughs> she is truly a most inveterate individual. Is it just me, or have you seemed inordinately strong lately? More so than usual. What do you think is different? Perhaps it is because I am cheating, hmm? Cheating? Do you think she's colluding with the raptures? <laughs> Come on, be serious. Skin this deer for me, will you? Will do. Huh? You know how to skin that thing, Dorothy? Of course I do. How hard can it be? All you've got to do is follow the proper steps. That's right. It's easy as pie. Go ahead. And that should do it. That's it. Nicely done. <laughs> that wasn't as hard as I thought it'd be. Incredible. Teach me next time. Hmm. You okay, Snow White? You look like you've seen a ghost. Dorothy, Pina is dead. She was corrupted. You put her down yourself. <sighs> Whatever this thing is inside of you, it's just a made-up... I never thought I'd see the day when you were cracking jokes, Snow White. You went a little over the line with that last wisecrack, but that's okay. You can keep working on it. Still, I can tell you put some real effort into it. Definitely. Doesn't it seem to you like Snow White is different? We can't let her get the last laugh. We've got to come up with a joke of our own. Okie dokie. What's our joke gonna be? Not sure. The main thing is that it's got to be something creative, something out of the ordinary. How about we both brainstorm individually, and whoever can't come up with something has to prepare the other's meals for the next five days? Sounds good. I've got this in the bag. I take it that means you're taking the bet? You're on. Let's pinky swear on it. Wow, it's been a while since I did one of those. Dorothy.
If you believe in the Creator, you better start praying. Reloading. Everything. I knew you couldn't do it without me. Right. Which of you scornful dunderheads dare step forward? You're merely delaying the inevitable. I wanted a challenge. This may take more time than I thought. The hour of retribution draws near. Fancy a drink? So, Pina's death... ...sent Dorothy into a spiral. It's clear as day. When I tried to broach the topic, she brushed it off as if I was joking. That's not the only thing. In her mind, she made a pinky promise with Pina. And when she did, she actually put her hand up and moved her fingers. In Dorothy's mind, Pina really exists. So, when she skinned the deer... She recalled Pina skinning it and followed along with the image imprinted in her mind. To her... It was as if Pina was beside her, helping. <sighs> what do you think? I'm not sure. I don't see a problem. You don't? Neither do I. Dorothy is using this as a coping mechanism, and it isn't disrupting her day-to-day -day life in any significant way. As long as it stays this way, I don't see a problem with it. Sure, but what if it doesn't stay this way? How bad do you think it could get? Could Dorothy lose her entire sense of self to this delusion? Since it's a product of Dorothy's own mind, it will only act within the boundaries that Dorothy confines it to. Pina was Dorothy's friend. She was a positive force in her life. She'll remain devoted to that role. In fact, the worst-case scenario would be... if Pina disappeared. Huh. We're in unexplored territory here, so it's high risk. The slightest variation could cause Pina to disappear entirely from Dorothy's mind. What should we do to ensure Dorothy remains normal? I think we just need to act the way we do normally. I agree. Hmm, very well. We shall try. Yes. Okay. We received confirmation of the destruction of the freight elevator. We cannot thank you enough. We will be proceeding to the final stage of the arc sealing procedure. Our expected time frame is three weeks. In the meantime, we must ask you to continue protecting us as you have been. We will. Did you receive the supply shipment we sent? Yes, thank you. I've been meaning to ask, what is this plasticine-like substance? There doesn't seem to be enough of it for it to be reinforcement material. Ah, that is Splendamon. It is going to be used as the primary food source in the Ark. This is food? <laughs> 
I know that it's a far cry from mom's home-cooked food, but it really is the perfect superfood, at least in theory. You could live a long, healthy life eating that and nothing else. Having said that, I'd recommend only eating it when you have to. <laughs> Understood. We'll continue to contact you on a daily basis. Sounds good. Communication ended. <sighs> Alright everyone. Let's try and stay alive for the next three weeks. I'm here. There's no cause for concern. Who's next? I knew you couldn't do it without me. Right? the gods. Tis most simple lifting a beast like this, dear. Put your back into it and lift it. That's all there is to it, really. Well, I can't do that. That's why I'm asking for help. Grab the front legs and put them over your shoulder. That's what Pina says to do. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't catch that. One more time? Tina said to take the front legs and sling them over your shoulder. Take the front legs over the shoulder... Put my back into it... Hey! I did it! I'm carrying it! Why didn't you just lift it? It's not that heavy, so it shouldn't be an issue. When I lift it up... I can see its eyes. How is carrying it on your shoulder any better? You do realize the head is hanging right by your face, don't you? Can we chop off the head? My goodness, such bloodlust. Are we really supposed to slice this stuff this thin? How is it going to have any taste if we do that? It's meant to add flavor. That's what it says on the recipe. Are you sure the recipe is correct? Of course. I got it from the library, while I had an all-too-rare moment to spare. I'm sure it was a big hit back at one point in time. Alright. What next, then? At this rate, it'll be dawn before we dine. You can't rush quality. Now why wipe the drool from your mouth? We're supposed to boil this? I don't think that's right, Dorothy. Neither do I. Something's off here. Would you please just trust me? Just put it in and boil it. You will then have the perfect meal. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound promising. I'm sorry. I think I accidentally flipped to a different recipe a few steps back. Hmm. This thing looks like it came from outer space. I think tossing this may be for the best. <laughs> Allow me to do the honors. Would you please stop drooling? <laughs> Everyone, come here and look at this! What is it? Look! Hmm? Wow, a sprout! So this is going to be... the precious material I'll use to brew my own alcohol. 
I think you're going to have to wait a while for that. No matter, we have plenty of time. <sighs> no one is to consume this plant, not even you. All right, all right. Should I plant some more? Everyone, we're leaving this place soon. The Ark is going to be sealed. Although forced underground, humanity will go on. <sighs> it's all of you who made this possible. If it weren't for everyone here, we would never have made it this far. You all have saved humanity. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Counting down. Three, two, one. <sighs> it's finished. Good job, everyone. You too, Pina. The Ark has officially been sealed. We would like to thank the Goddess Squad once again. And a big thanks to you as well. Now, let's start moving. Where should we go? To honor your achievements, commemorative statues in your image will be erected in the Ark. Books and advertisements will tell your story for generations to come. Everyone will regard the Goddess Squad with the utmost reverence. Hmm. Tell me your name. I told you, I cannot disclose that information for security reasons. Name. Uh, Oswald. Right, Oswald. I'm coming for you. If not you, then your family and your children. I promise that I will make you die a long, miserable death. My goodness. Where did all this come from? You never intended on letting us enter the Ark, did you? No. Once the Ark is sealed, it cannot be reopened. But losing us would be a loss for the Ark as well. Science is bound to advance. We are already close to finishing the third generation of Nikkeis. The data that we have accumulated indicates they will far exceed the preceding models. And even that data will become obsolete in time. Oswald. Go on. Open the door. I'd love to, but I can't. Open it. No can do. Open it. I said, open it. If you don't open the door this instant, I'll tear it off its hinges. You'll all be doomed. You won't do that. I will. Open it! You're all far too noble to do something like that. You wouldn't put all these people in danger just to save yourselves. Or, to be more precise, you can't. It's how you're hardwired. I have just one question. Go ahead. Are you acting alone, or was this agreed on by everyone? The latter. <laughs> Understood. I will end our communication here. Wait! Just... just let one person in! One! Pina... I promised... I said I would take her to paradise. Please, at least let her in. Communication ended. Re-establish connection. The line is closed. Unable to connect. <gasps> no. <laughs> Dorothy. Let's rest for a bit. Huh? <gasps> Ta-da!
fashion, me contributing to society. Who's next? This may take more time than I thought. Reloading! Everything- I have something to say. There's no time to bask in our victory. Let's move on to the next mission. We have to leave this place. Agreed. I think it's a good idea as well. What? If we stay here, the deluge of raptures will never stop. We'd be putting this entrance in harm's way. We could handle lower class beasts without issue, but should we encounter a heretic, our victory would be by no means assured. Exactly. So we have to get out of here. I can't believe I'm hearing this. <laughs> we were betrayed. By the Ark. By mankind itself. The very ones we risk our lives protecting. They've turned their backs on us. Now you're saying that we need to move to keep this place out of danger? Do you all have a screw loose? Dorothy, then what do you want to do? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> we can't strike back at the Ark. It's the last refuge for humanity. You don't think I'm upset? I'm furious. I feel just as betrayed as you do. But what can we do? We can't lash out at the Ark because of this. <sighs> what we need to do is find a way to kill the leader of the Raptures up on the surface. Stop! Just stop! <laughs> I... No, we can't accept this! Paradise is right underneath us! All we have to do is go inside! This was going to be our reward for all the pain and suffering we'd endured! Now you want to give it all up just like that? Oh well, what can we do? Are you all barking mad? Everything we've done up until now was for nothing. None of it mattered. Lilith and Red Hood, they're gone. And for what? You're wrong. We saved humanity. Right now? That's enough for me. How can that be enough? You think I don't feel betrayed? <laughs> of course I do. I can't tell you how furious I am. But we're the Goddess Squad. The Goddess of Victory. Mankind's last hope. Until the very end. For us, this is a point of pride that will never fade. You're the one who taught us that, Dorothy. <laughs> you did. So answer me, Dorothy. Are we goddess of victory? <laughs> Answer me. Are we, or are we not, goddess of victory? Yes. Are we mankind's last hope? Yes. We are the goddess squad, are we not? <laughs> <laughs> remind us never to forget who we are. I will show you what Eden is capable of. Hmm. 
Reloading. This may take more time than I thought. You are merely delaying the inevitable. Hmm, let's see. There's no time to bask in our victory. Let's move on to the next mission. Has everyone gathered their belongings? Got it. Although tis but a pittance. Only a bag of seeds and my sword. I'm all set. I'm good here as well. <sighs> Hmm. <sighs> Let's go. Okay. Coming. Me too. Let's go, Dorothy. I think it's best to split up. Right. Our goal is to take down the Queen. The surface is a vast expanse, and there is much to discover. Going our separate ways could prove beneficial. How will we stay in contact with each other? We'll use fire beacons. It's the only option we have. Tis a bit primitive, is it not? I'll try to scrounge up some walkie-talkies or cell phones and hand them out next time we meet. That would be most appreciated. Speaking of... How about we meet up once a month at a designated location? That way we can exchange information and see how we're all doing. Fine by me. Yes, that's a good idea. Well then, this is it, everyone. Before we branch off, I wanted to say one last thing as your leader. Don't hurry yourselves. We have plenty of time. Time is both on our side, and also our enemy. You are all free to do anything you wish, so long as none of you forget our ultimate goal. Taking down the Queen. Whether it's farming, helping the dead find solace, or creating delicious new recipes. Never lose yourselves. Worry not about me. You got it. Will do. And never forget to be proud. Ever. <sighs> I'll go first. Let's go, Pina. Hmm? Pina? Pina! Why aren't you coming? Dorothy... Pina... Scarlet. Uh, it looks like Pina left something behind. You all go ahead. I'll leave once Pina gets her things. I was trying to act cool and be the first to leave, but I guess we'll be the last ones out the door. <laughs> Very well. We'll go first. Stay alive, everyone. See you next month. Pina, what are you doing? Let's go! There's nothing here for us anymore. Dorothy... Can we just stay here? Huh? Look around you. All these buildings we repaired. The tools we crafted. The graves we dug. The garden we planted. We made all of it. I know it's sad having to leave this place, but we... Dorothy... This is our paradise. Paradise? All of our memories, good and bad, are here. It's a place of our own. If this isn't paradise, then what is? <sighs> you promised me, remember? You said you would take me to paradise. Then let's stay here. I want to be with you, Dorothy, at this place. Paradise for me is wherever you are. Pina. So we can't stay? Uh, 
There's no reason we can't stay. Yes, since this is our paradise. I'm the one to keep you safe. There's no time to bask in our victory. Let's move on to the next mission. What do you think of this, Dorothy? It's such a beautiful piece of cloth. It is, but what can we do with it? Maybe we can use it for some kind of decoration. In that case, can you find some in pink? <laughs> I knew I'd convince you. Taste this, will you? Hmm. A bit salty for my taste. I thought so too. Did you follow the recipe? I thought the recipe needed some work, so I added a little extra. There's a reason why recipes exist, you know. Dorothy, look at this. It's all withered. What do you think was the problem? Lack of sunlight, too much or too little water. It could have been anything, really. Farming is tough. It's okay. We'll just try again. All right. Let's give it another shot. Time is on our side, after all. Dorothy, do you remember all those who have passed on? Not all of them. And that fills me with great shame. Will you remember me when I'm gone? No. Because you'll never leave me. I won't allow it. Wow, a bit controlling, but kind of romantic all the same. Not bad, right? What was Lilith like? Hard to say. She was the type of person impossible to describe in only a few words. She was a strong person who wasn't afraid of being vulnerable, Able to bend, but never be broken. Harsh and forgiving in equal measure. Hmm. She was a very special person. Do you miss her? No, I don't. She achieved everything she wanted in life. Only after accomplishing all she'd set out to do, did she depart from this life. I have no regrets about how she passed, and that's why I don't miss her. Did you guys all make this coffin yourselves? Yes, Scarlet carved the stone herself. I was going to ask her to do the same for you. Wait. Hmm. Oh. Right. I see now. <sighs> Pina. You stayed with me and kept me sane. Thank you. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Goodbye.
Everything's awesome. Focusing fire. Leave no enemy standing. See that? There's nothing you can't solve with words. What are you still here for? Hurry up and go! Such vastness, such beauty, yet there is nowhere I can call my own. <laughs> lies. All lies. Liars. Every last one of you. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. I don't think I can do this. I will get it back. This place only exists because of us. It belongs to us. I will take back what is rightfully ours, no matter what it takes.